Dr. Bob, is it possible to check out my immune system? Well, if somebody's having recurrent sinus infections or recurrent infections, or they're worried about their immune system, there's a, we can evaluate the immune system. Let's talk about how. Number one, we get a routine blood count. The routine blood count can tell us how the different cells in the body are working, and that is a great, great start. Then we get, we measure what we call immunoglobulins. They're the antibodies. They're antibodies that neutralize bacteria and help us fight off infection. If the immunoglobulins are low, one of them, the IgG, the neutralizing antibody, can be replaced. If it's IgA, it gives us an understanding of why we're getting uh, underlying recurrent infections. Now, if the immunoglobulins are normal, then we have to measure the body's ability to produce antibodies. And so we can measure pneumococcal antibodies. You and I get a pneumonia shot, that produces pneumococcal antibodies. We can measure that. We can measure the baseline if you've never had a pneumovax, then give a pneumovax shot and then measure what the response is to that. We can do the thing, same thing with tetanus. One of the things we can do, most people have had a tetanus shot, we can measure tetanus antibodies. That will give us a good idea if the body is responding. So now we've measured antibodies, immunoglobulins. We've measured the ability to respond to those. If we need to go further, there are cells we call B cells and T cells, medical stuff. But we can evaluate those, see how many they are, there are and how functional they are. So yes, we can measure your immune system. It's really pretty easy in your doctor's office. Yes, if you're having recurrent sinus infections, it could be that your immune system is not working well.